Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Um, yesterday we read through verse 17. My schedule said verse 18, but I didn't read that one, and now I'm wondering why. It's another uh, aspect of the law and um, where Jesus says, everyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. And he who marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. That's been a problematic verse um, over the over the centuries. If you have a very sacramental view of marriage, and many people do, then you see it as um, a sort of commitment that you make and God is involved and you can't change it. If you see marriage as a promise, uh, well, we're human and we break promises all the time. And as tragic as it is, sometimes promises are broken, um, which is the way I understand uh, marriage and divorce and all these questions. A woman asked me once, she'd read this verse, and she said, does this mean I have to divorce my husband and go back to my first husband? And I said, well, uh, tell me about that marriage a little bit. And she, she said it was horrible, and she was very young and all that. And now she's married to a guy she really loved, and she had a couple of children, and, you know, all was well. And I said, well, why would you ruin that happy family to go back to the guy that was horrible who probably remarried himself? So don't worry about that. So... Some years later, she's divorcing her then husband, and they must have had some argument or conversation because he told me that she said the words, I said it was okay to divorce. So he calls me up and wants to know why I told her, why I gave her permission to divorce him. And I said, well, first of all, this was years ago. She was asking questions about another man, and um, that wasn't the you know the whole different context. And I had to explain that to him. And finally, he says, "He says, oh, oh okay, okay." And um, we commiserated a little bit about the end of his marriage, and and they've gone on. And I think everyone is, you know, happily thriving at this point. It's been many years ago, but. It was uh, it was kind of strange to have your own words quoted back to you in a very different context and and twisted uh, actually to uh, to say something that I didn't really mean or didn't really say. So uh, that that happens, um, and it happens with divorce because we're you know you've got a relationship and then you want to end it, and it takes all sorts of mental you know. Um, not gymnastics, but but changes to to bring about the end of a a marriage, um, and it's hard to do. Um, so Jesus is very much in favor of marriage. He is in favor of anything that gives women power. This is the part that we sometimes miss, because in those days. Men had all the power, and women just, you know, a, a man could walk into his house one day and, a, you know, she's fixed some supper and he doesn't like it. And he could say, get out of here, I divorce you. And she'd have to leave. So women were vulnerable. And, um, and Jesus says, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to stick with your wife because that's what you ought to do. That's the right thing to do. And um, he made some arguments, and Paul makes some arguments here and there about um, what the law teaches and and what God has has given them through Moses and stuff. And so there's there's more to this than just this verse, but this verse sort of sums it up. And um, Jesus says, you know, he wants to empower the women, and so they can't uh, leave. But they can't be divorced either, and that's a that's a good thing, he says. I, I mean, he doesn't really say it, but that's where he's going. So, um, 
faithfulness in our relationships to God and to each other is is important, and that's something we need to, uh, you know, just think about. So you think about that today, and tomorrow we go on with the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. See you then. <laughs>